Okay, so for this last video, I'm just going to kind of show um, Visual Studio Code's nice tie into uh, GitHub. Uh, really important, you always backing up your code and then uh, kind of monitoring your workflow. I'm just going to give a real quick overview uh, of how to commit uh, changes and then and then push those to GitHub. So um, we'll just go through that real quick. Um, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to, well, make sure that your code runs. And so where we ended off last um, um, time around, um, we had running code. We're in a good stable state. Uh, we know we have subsystems in a good spot. Um, so from there, um, what you want to do is actually go to uh, source control here. And uh, we actually want to kind of add a source here. So that's going to be our, our, our first step. And so it says pick a workspace folder uh, to initialize a git repo. And so notice by default, it's just going to choose the project that you're in. And that's what we want. Um, so we have that. Okay. And then you can see here that it's got a bunch of changes. So we, I don't know if we have 27 uh, files there uh, that need to kind of be committed. And so I'm just going to put here, even though we did a whole bunch of work uh, with 10 videos, I'm just going to put here um, first commit as my message. And so Normally we describe what we're doing here. Uh, maybe you want to put added subsystem, added a new command, whatever you've done. Uh, you want to have that uh, description in there uh, of what that git commit is. And then from there, it's pretty simple. We just need to hit the little uh, uh, check mark here to commit those. And I'm just going to say yes. And we can see that we've got a little progress bar there and that's committed. Now, what we do want to do is we want to be able to kind of send this up to GitHub and so that we can kind of share this with the rest of our team and we can branch and do a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, let's get through the basics. So first, what I would say we want to do is you want to go to GitHub, sign up for an account. OK, uh, you can see we have an account here. Ours is actually 5725, even though uh, we've split uh, into Team 6841. I was originally a member of 5725 as a, a mentor and then eventually split to our own team. Uh, but my repository for Git has persisted, uh, so we can see there. So uh, once you have a GitHub hub account, uh, it's free. You can just uh, you can see that I have a bunch of repositories for this year. Actually, I think the Force is our repository this year. Um, but once you have an account set up, uh, you just go New, and then it's going to ask you, well, what do you want this repository name to be? I'm going to say uh, just. Uh, uh, command uh, robot command base tutorial okay which is what this was uh, a quick description um, command base system 2020 tutorial Okay, I'm going to make this public so you guys can grab code too from this if you want. If you could just go to my Git, uh, you'll be able to do that. And then I'm just going to go down here and uh, create a repository. Okay, from there, what we want to actually get from that is you can see it gives a link to that repository. And this link, uh, if you guys, uh, maybe I'll try and post this in the comments. But this link uh, as well is what I need um, to set up uh, my... Uh, GitHub so that I can push to this and so I'm just going to copy from here and then I'm going to go into um, my Visual Studio Code again uh, and then what I need to do I, I've committed the changes but now I actually have to set this up remotely so I'm going to go view and go to command palette and I'm going to click on add remote or I could start typing add remote it might not be at the top uh, for you guys as it is for me because it was recently used so I'm going to go add remote it's going to say, well, what's the remote name? I'm going to say um, uh, robot command base tutorial. Uh, sounds good enough for me. And then uh, remote URL. Well, that's the that's the URL I copied from here uh, for my repository. So I'm just going to add that in here. Uh, Control V is good on Windows. Uh, hit enter okay and it's going to add 
uh, that repository there. Now, the easiest way to kind of push this, you can see in here, I could probably just push as well. But usually all I do, once I've committed changes, like I just did a second ago, now to push those to the cloud, you can see there's this little cloud button here, and I'm just going to click on that. And then that should, you can see the little wheel turn in there, and it's sending up um, my initial commit. And so from there, if I just go back to GitHub, um, I could double check that all my stuff is there. And so if I just come here and maybe I just, uh, let's go back here. And then I go to, where is that the recent uh, repositories? Let's see here. Robot command based tutorial. That's what I just did. It says updated three seconds ago. And you can see that all my code has come up here. And so if I want to drill down into my actual files, and anyone can take a look at these, uh, I can see that they're all there. My commands are all there. Uh, and everything is up. And I can take a look at that stuff. Say I want to look at auto shoot just online. It's here. Uh, so you can see that we're in business. Okay, I can clone or download uh, and a whole bunch of other features that GitHub has. Um, but the key here to this is there's a real nice tie in in Visual Studio Code, and it's probably the simplest and quickest way to kind of back up um, your code uh, really quickly and share it with your teammates and get a workflow and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'll try and put this in the comments, um, but that's basically it for the video. Last video in the series, a good uh, introduction to that command based system. Uh, it's pretty late. Um, it's been a, a long series. Anyways, um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you get some out of it and good luck this season.